Ooh, do the dash and the whip, got a 30, I like curry, I just sing, man, I switch, make her sing like a birdie, she take flights for the dick, hit her with the long pipe, now she tryna have my kiss. Kicks it out to Hood, their offense, the Spurs, still a work in progress, James with the rebound off the air ball. See, this is a good lesson for the second unit for the Cavs, all right, because they, they hit that bad valley there in the third quarter right uh, right now this is a good learning thing for them also for the coaching staff at Cleveland to now decide how we're going to play add maybe some more little offensive things so everything isn't a long three what happens when we're out on the floor can we get into the paint there's the touchdown pass to Jordan look at the field what a great pass and it brings a crowd to its feet you know it's interesting everybody all players think they have to score to get to get the adulation of take a look right here here's Jordan and Longley coming off the floor and he is being admonishing him for not being in the right place at the right time I think it was on the right pass let's see there's a pick and roll not sure about there Longley didn't step out let Avery get to the basket Avery, of course, doesn't make the shot, but that very well could be the reason. But at the end of that conversation, you'll see Longley say something to Jordan, and Jordan stops to think, maybe I'm not right in this. That's why I think it was something that happened on the offensive end. Also, they probably play 48 if I have to. James, a little bit more on just keeping that, that attitude you guys have had all year. You mentioned it a little bit last night. Yeah. Will, will, you, will you talk with the guys? Is, is the yeah, game I, I mean, yesterday I called guys. <laughs> After the game, I called guys because you can just tell as a leader, you know, when guys aren't happy or when guys aren't moving or having the same swag. So I just, you know, call guys and see how they're feeling. You know, some, some of the guys, first time being here, um, but I know how hard they work to get to this position. You know, so I want to make sure that they're, they're good and in a good place. And all the guys seem... Um, you know, happy and motivated. So, you know, we watch film, we can correct some things, and uh, tomorrow we should be better. So what do you think it means, James, to, for guys on this team, role players particularly, to hear from you after a game like that? It means a lot, and it's not like just the first time it happened. You know, I call guys regular season, go eat with guys after games or, or whatnot, but, I mean, it, it's, it's a great feeling, you know, and, and I'm sure, like, you know, even you know, teammates call me because, you know, we're in this together, and, like, I can't do it by myself. And uh, we need the, we need everybody to, to be at their top uh, you know, top play, you know. And so, whether it's uh, you know CP, whether it's you know, Eric, whether it's Tuck, you know, and we just open up and just talk about the game, talk about things that they that we see that they see from their angle. We can get better on things that they saw that actually worked. And uh, you it figured, like you played forty plus minutes. Do you feel like you played forty plus? Minutes? Yeah, we need to talk to Tibbs. These forty minutes is starting to add up. For watching James the last minute or so, he looked fatigued. Crossing half court. And Jalen Brown, who already has 11 points, chance to add to that. You've been watching, you guys have been watching LeBron James a couple of times, certainly on the bench. And you both think he looks a little tired. Not a little tired, he looks exhausted to me. And it's shocking to the point where you wonder if anything is wrong. But he's on the floor, so you gotta basically call it what it is. He's not playing with the same aggressiveness. And he's being careless with the basketball again. Let's send it over to Doris. Well, Mike, as you know, the broadcasters that are around the local teams are very familiar with habits of players. And I asked Allie Clifton, who happens to be the sideline reporter for the Cleveland Cavaliers, did she think, like Mark and Jeff, that LeBron looks tired? She said, it's a point of pride for LeBron James not to show any kind of fatigue, hands on his waist bending over all of which we have seen to the point Mike uh, that she believes he's tired as well so the guys are on point 21 points for Jason Tatum as we head to the fourth Celtics by 16 I'm very upset but um, like I said I mean I, we've been through I've been through tough situations mm -hmm. before in the past and I always blow my top and just go crazy and, days, yes. yeah and then I had a head coach who just kind of always kept calm and always just focused on the X's and O's of mm -hmm. things and and I learned from that and you know, I'm trying to trying to do the same, same thing here um, but I won't lie man they're they're really they're <laughs> really trying my patience with that Zen thing
Cook, you mentioned that in your in your career, this is been the most frustrating time you had. This is like worse than 05, worse than when you lost in the finals. That that level of frustration. Uh, um, well, nothing's worse than losing. The, well, this, this is might be because I mean, we have the personnel and the talent to do it, and why we're not doing it is pretty bad. We're on a real live court. Bro, stop turning the ball over. Come on, I'm not rewarding that. I'm rewarding negative behavior. Turn the ball over. He hit that though. Those remaining here at the Amway Center as Orlando prevails by 13. Well, you know, I thought the effort was there tonight. Thunder did a good job in the second half getting to the free throw line, but they had that little dry spell offensively in the third quarter. And I already mentioned it when Stephen Adams went out. All of a sudden, they didn't have that defensive anchor. Did a good job of getting to the free throw line. But give the Magic credit too. They shot almost 60 percent from the field for most of the ball game, and those 13 made threes were huge as they did a great job of knocking him down at timely points of the ball game. Orlando led by Aaron Gordon's 40 points. A dejected Russell Westbrook with 20 points in the fourth quarter. But the Thunder did not have enough as they fall here 121-108 for Michael Cage.